AQA A-Level Physics. This is for the engineering option and it's the last video in this playlist, uh, number 12, and it's reversed heat engines. And this is the bit of the specification we're going to be looking at. So uh, a refrigerator. Okay, now a refrigerator, what it does is it takes heat energy from somewhere cold and it puts puts it where it's warmer you know cold inside the fridge the freezer warm the kitchen wherever so it's a reverse heat engine now it doesn't go against the second law because to do that you need to do work okay so in there there's a motor there's a, a unit which does the the cooling okay so this is a, a reverse heat engine we're taking heat energy from somewhere cold and we're putting it somewhere warm you know if you want to warm up your kitchen put a fridge in there it'll warm up your kitchen nicely now this is the schematic for the heat engine where we had um, heat flowing from the high temperature source to a, a cold temperature sink so from a, a hot reservoir to a cold reservoir and it was doing work like a turbine now this is a schematic for our heat pump and basically what we've got is we've got the heat energy coming from the cold reservoir yeah qc going through the heat pump up to the high temperature reservoir qh but to do that we have to do work so there is work input and heat pumps can be used for heating or for cooling yes if we're using it for cooling then that's your refrigeration if we're using it for heating we're going to talk about heat pumps in this video now you don't need to know how a, a heat pump or a fridge works but I've done this slide if you want to read it it's quite interesting it involves using a, a gas uh, which is evaporating and condensing and taking in latent heat etc anyway look at the back of your fridge yes but i put that in just out of interest now heat pumps let's talk about heat pumps very topical at the moment um, they take energy from a, a cooler reservoir uh, and work is done by a motor an electric motor usually and it takes this heat energy and it puts it in the house or into a hot water tank uh, and it may be a, what we call an air source heat pump or a ground source heat pump. There's um, been some very recent legislation saying that all new houses built in this country uh, have to have some kind of energy efficient way of heating. Uh, usually it's talking about air source heat pumps. You can't really have a, a ground source one unless you've got a, a very large garden okay that you're willing to dig up or you live on a farm or something but uh, lots and lots of new houses now are going to have air source heat pumps uh, one advantage of them by the way is that in the summer they can actually be used as air conditioning to keep the house cool if the house gets a bit too warm uh, they work in a very similar way to how a fridge works uh, and the clever thing is you've got an electric motor which might be let's say one kilowatt uh, and you're typically getting something like four kilowatts of heating so in that sense it's about 400 percent efficient isn't it so first of all heating so we're taking heat energy from somewhere cold and we're putting it somewhere hot and this is the theoretical maximum now not the efficiency to judge these things we use something called the coefficient of performance now the coefficient of performance of a heat pump uh, it's like the efficiency it's useful divided by total now uh, for a, for a heating the useful is qh so qh divided by the work done by the motor uh, and in Kelvin that boils down to TH over TH minus TC 
you get all these equations on the formula sheet so don't panic there's not masses of equations to learn but do understand what's going on in these equations and have a go at this question have a read I'll show you the answer in three two one and it's 8.8 .8. again this is the maximum theoretical coefficient of performance okay you're not going to get 8.8 .8. uh, heat pumps are becoming more and more popular because the very efficient way of keeping your house warm okay um, the coefficient of performance of a heat pump tells us basically how efficient it is and as I said 8.8 .8, that's a maximum theoretical value typical values from about 2.5 to 4 uh, they, they are actually more efficient in the summer than they are in the winter 2.5 would be a winter value 4 would be a summer value now cooling uh, again we're taking heat energy from somewhere cold we're putting it somewhere hot can you see the difference in the equation okay so the difference is that the useful is the heat energy that we are taking away from the fridge so the useful is QC uh, in the heating equation it was QH here it's QC so that the equation that we get when we boil it down to Kelvin to temperature is slightly different as well so don't get them muddled up and have a go at this question have a read of it yourself work it out and the answer is in three two one okay uh, 7.87 now um, again this is the maximum maximum theoretical coefficient of performance uh, you're not going to get that much um, actual values would be less than that okay uh, also don't forget if you get a different answer is it because you didn't change everything to Kelvin <laughs>